Near the window by which I write, a great bull is tethered by a rope around his neck. Grazing round and round, he has wound his rope about the stake until now he stands a close prisoner, tantalized by rich grass he cannot reach. Unable even to toss his head to rid him of the flies that cluster on his shoulders. This bull, a very type of massive strength, who because he is not wit enough to see how he might be free, suffers want in sight of plenty, and is helplessly preyed upon by weaker creatures, seems to me no unfit emblem of the working masses. But until they trace effect to cause, until they see how they are fettered and how they may be freed, their struggles and outcries are as vain as those of the bull. Nay, they are vainer. I shall go out and drive the bull in the way that will untwist this rope. But who shall drive men into freedom? What God created for the use of all should be utilized for the benefit of all. What is produced by the individual belongs rightfully to the individual. Henry George. Men like Henry George are rare, unfortunately. One cannot imagine a more beautiful combination of intellectual keenness, artistic form, and fervent love of justice. Albert Einstein. People do not argue with the teaching of George. They simply do not know it. The teaching of George is irresistibly convincing in its simplicity and clearness. He who becomes acquainted with it cannot but agree. Leo Tolstoy. I have made speeches to you by the yard on the taxation of land values, and you know what a strong supporter I have always been of that policy. Winston Churchill. I believe in the taxation of land values only. Justice Lewis D. Brandeis. A reform like this will be worked out sometime in the future. Abraham Lincoln.